Okay, so, uh, ignore the text, this is not Spinball, I have no idea why this is Grit. We got move kill to spin dash, move on spin, move on spin dash, strike dash, propel jump if we go up and A. I don't even know which game this is. I think this is Sonic Chaos. <laughs> Did you win? We finished the game. That's a win in my book. Yeah, Sonic Chaos. Another the another one of the Dreamcast not Dreamcast, another one of the Game Gear Sonic platformers. However, unlike the other games, this is originally made for Game Gear. Uh, let's play as Tails. No, we no, we'll play today's Sonic's day. We'll play as Sonic. Yeah, this game is originally made for Game Gear as opposed to like, Sonic 1 Game Gear, Sonic 2 Game Gear. Oh yeah, he has that move where you can just... You can charge up as a ball. Or you can uh, charge up running. I don't know why you would ever do that. Alright, this is a Game Gear Sonic game. Which means there was zero distance. Also, I don't know if how. Game. I guess, okay, I guess what the thing is, if you do a spin jump, your momentum would eventually run out. But if you do a super peel out, then, or whatever it's called in this game, then you have continued momentum independent on the stage. Oh. Playing this really makes me appreciate modern games, modern 2D platformers, having widescreen and window distance. Like, Sonic's known for speed lights, because I'm very certain you can now play any of these Game Gear games. With, with speed, because you can't see anything. You cannot see in front of you. Where was that enemy? What was that enemy even called? Buzz Beetle? See? Yeah, you, you really have to memorize the stage and know when it is safe to go fast and when it is not. And also memorize the enemy's positions. Also, I don't know how accurate it is, but this game it controls. Aww, that's actually a lot of an that's actually really impressive animation for the time. I mean, even just Sonic's regular sprites, it's not bad. It's definitely a bit crushed. But it's not bad. What did you came from? What did you came from, Spikes? Oh god. I don't know how it played on the original Game Gear, but controlling this, it definitely feels chunky. It definitely feels chunky. Oh, so this is, what, the Game Gear? They probably did not have much space to, on a culture to really put big stages. And also, we established, what was it, how much battery life did they have? The Game Gear did not have much battery life, so we kinda needed to beat the game within the battery life, especially since I'm very certain it did not even have... Saving. 
325 battery life and an 86 35 hours battery life and an 86 battery, so yeah. You need to be able to beat this game in 3 to 5 hours. Yeah, the Game Gear games have some interesting bosses. Like, it's a Game Gear. It was technically more powerful than the Game Boy Advance, but it's still... Trying, it's still not that powerful and trying to make a platform or so. I guess they could do oh, that was some lag. So they couldn't wait. Uh, did you see my ring count? How it's hiding? Okay, that looks intentional. Oh, so I'm lost. Okay, you I'm gonna be you can enjoy your nap. I'm gonna go continue Sonic Chaos, and then end the stream. Or maybe I'll end it here if I can't figure out how to leave? Okay, it's, I've, Sonic has abilities. Sonic can do things more than just jumping. Yeah, good night, Gearbox. Enjoy your nap. John, where were you? Where were you? Oh. Do you think people played this? Do you think I played, well not this one, but Sonic, probably Sonic 1. Oh, I so very much appreciate games ha being widescreen. Also, games having game over. We're done. We are free from Sonic Chaos. <laughs> Normally, you don't have celebration on a game over screen. <laughs> oh. Okay, but next, the next Game Gear game we'll unlock is Sonic Spinball. That I don't enjoy, but at least it controls. Good night, everyone.